So gritty throwback thriller in the tradition of, you know, Peck and Parr and Penn, I suppose. Chris Pine and uh, Ben Foster, Chalk and Cheese Brothers, who are holding up a bunch of small town banks uh, in Barron, West Texas. Chris Pine is the younger, stoical brother, divorcee who wants to, divorcee who wants to secure his kid's future. Foster is the wild card, out of jail and reckless. Here's a clip. She in that bit a while? Three months. The end there was pretty rough. I could have helped out a little if she asked. I could have fed them skinny cows. We had nothing to feed them. Well, I could have helped clean up the house a bit. Never took you for the go to guy for house cleaning. <laughs> no. Just robbing banks. Yeah? She never wanted nothing to do with me anyway. Superb scores you can hear there by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis, which really gives the film an elegiac tone and emphasises the fact that the real bad guys are the banks. So Jeff Bridges is the Grizzled Ranger on his last hurrah, who says, maybe I'll go out in a blaze of glory, whose endless bickering with his partner actually sort of bespeaks great affection. And he says, you know, when I retire, it's the bickering that you're going to, to miss. And... So what I like about the film is it's a film about a world in which the the world of cowboys and bank robbers and lords of the plains have disappeared. It's a film in which is absolutely steeped in nostalgia, in which the cinematography captures huge, wide, horizontal landscapes with big, empty skies. And it all seems to be like a kind of mournful elegy for something which has gone. It's directed by Dave McKenzie, who does a very, very fine job of getting all of that into the movie without ever feeling like it's over-egged. There are also, because, you know, obviously it's a, it's a crime thriller, it's a bank robbery movie, there are moments of uh, explosive and alarming action which are handled very well because they're handled tonally in a way which makes them fit against that kind of sense of melancholy. To some extent, it reminded me of... Do you remember I reviewed a film a while ago called Mystery Road? Um, hmm. That means you don't. don't. Okay, well, if if any of our listeners remember me reviewing a while ago a film you know, when called you ask me a Mystery question, Road, I know, and the answer is always no. It had something of the atmosphere of that about it. I thought Jeff Bridges' performance was terrific. In fact, actually, the three major performances are all really good because what it has is this this sense of you know that very 70s feeling of we're not going to tie all the loose ends up we are going to, we accept that this is a world in which you know things have passed times have changed people have been left behind i mean actually the central character the fact that he's on the brink of retirement that he is stepping down he says oh you know i love west texas which he says in this very kind of ironic and raw way. I mean, it's muscular and old-fashioned. It's been described in more than one place as the kind of film they don't make anymore. Um, and it's very, very well handled. I liked it very much. 